Comes the president. Comes the president. Wasn't it nice of us to get you all out in the spring weather here today? Before taking your questions, I want to offer one or two remarks concerning the situation before us in the South Atlantic. From the outset, we've made clear our wish to assist in finding a basis for resolution of this difficult issue. It was for that purpose that I sent Secretary Haig to both capitals last week. During his travels, I've remained in close communication with him and today have had the benefit of a thorough report on where matters stand. The situation is most sensitive. Nonetheless, ideas have been presented which are being seriously considered on both sides. Peace is our common cause. In the interest of finding a solution, I've asked Secretary Haig to return shortly to Argentina for further talks. In view of the sensitivity of the situation, I'll have no further comment on this matter. It wouldn't be appropriate at this time. And I will defer all questions until further developments occur. Sir, I'm just going to have to ask you about the reports that the United States is helping Great Britain in several ways in this crisis. Can you not comment on that? I, I cannot comment. This situation is too critical that any comment, I think, can be taken one way or the other and uh, endanger the peacekeeping or peacemaking process. So, but the last time you spoke, you said that both sides were our friends, and you implied that there was a certain even-handedness in our attitude. Is that still our uh, position? We are still trying to be a fair broker in this situation and bring peace. And again, uh, it's uh, things lose translation between here and when someone may hear them on either side. That's why the safest thing is to not comment. Sensitive is the situation. How much time do, does Secretary Haig, do, does the United States have to bring it to a, to some resolution? I don't, I don't think anyone could speculate on that as to what the time situation is. It just... How concerned are you that Israel will find some pretext or put some pressure on Menachem Begin to uh, renege on his pledge to return the Sinai to Egypt? All I can tell you is that I have his pledge that the turnover is going to occur and that uh, they're going forward with the Camp David uh, in the framework of the Camp David talks. And we have uh, Secretary Stessel over there uh, uh, talk to them about various problems. And so I, uh, I'm going to have confidence uh, in that statement that he's made to me. Stop the bloodshed of the What's Israeli that? occupation against the Arab shooting of children and, and women. Well, this is a tragic affair. Obviously, the individual who perpetrated that horrible deed at the, at the temple was deranged. And now for this to lead to the great unrest, yes, it's a, it's a, it's a great tragedy. Mr. President, would you accept, are you willing to accept wait, wait. modest, are you willing to consider a temporary surtax of perhaps 4% as part of a package to reduce the deficit? The discussions that are going on, and in which we're not, and I'm not participating, our discussions that are exploring every avenue of what can be a package that hopefully can bring about a bipartisan move to meet the problems, deficit problems that we face this year. And uh, I have not been party to uh, any of the many alternatives, both with regard to revenues and regard to it cuts in spending that have been made. And what will happen is the leadership on both sides, myself on this side and uh, the speaker and others on the other, uh, Congressman Wright, uh, when the discussions have led to something that they think is a package that uh, now has a reasonable success of being negotiated out, then we'll treat with the whole the thing in the in the whole, the whole package. Uh, so I I'm not going to have any comments on consideration of any of these things that are being talked about. Wait a minute. Mr. President, you're not, there are, there are those who, who feel because of your, your strong stand for tax reduction that the surcharge has sort of automatically been ruled out. You're not doing that, are you, uh, here? I'm neither ruling out nor ruling in because, as I say, it's, uh, uh, I'm on the sidelines until those who are carrying on the discussions, and they're not negotiations, they are discussions, feel that they have something that has a possibility of success with both sides, and then I will see it. Mr. President, 
I understand that they're reasonably optimistic with the discussions that have been going on. Next week, do you think you'll become personally involved? Senator Dole said the other day it was time for the principal players to suit up for the game. Yourself and Speaker O'Neill. Well, they're coming close, but I'm going to. They're going to have to set that time when they decide that it is time to come forward and say, "Here, our discussions have led to this." What do you think the chances are that Secretary Haig can find peace? Again, this would be commenting in, uh, in a way that could be detrimental to the process that's going on. I'm just going to say that what he's doing, I think uh, we should all be hoping and we should all be praying. And I, he's working extremely hard, as you know, on this. Well, Does Dean Baker have your authority to proceed the way he's been proceeding in discussing, at least, the surtax and other tax issues? He's there, but mainly he's there observing and listening and... Uh, 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 as I say, it is not, it's been portrayed as negotiations, they're not. So he's there with my encouragement to go forward with this process. According to the participants, he's been doing more than listening. He's been suggesting and, and offering uh, ideas as well. Well, I'm sure in a discussion type meeting that there are uh, moments when that takes place. But uh, he's not going there in the sense of going with positions that I have... Uh, uh, backed or offered or said do this or do that. How would, how would, a, how would a surtax fit in with your supply side philosophy, with, with what you hope will be an incentive to people to invest? Well, again, you've, you've asked me, well, I'm, not, I'm just not going to comment while they're going forward. I want them to complete their discussions and then I'll look at the package as a whole. I, but I won't comment on any particulars until I get the whole package. Now, in about whether the U.S. is supplying any intelligence information to, to the British. But could you comment on reports that the Soviets are supplying intelligence information to the Argentinians? Well, that has been uh, reported and evidently is established, and uh, uh, I think that it's... Uh, uh, I'd like to see them butt out. You mean you confirm one, but not the other? What? Hmm? to confirm the Soviet... No, no, I said all I know is what I've heard and read, and if that's going on, why, I would rather... suspect the whole balance of, of the situation in the whole Latin American region with the Soviets, who you claim are helping the Nicaraguans and the guerrillas in El Salvador, uh, siding with the Argentinians, who are apparently against the Nicaraguans. I mean, how does yeah, this... but now you see, you've, you've just made my case for me. You've just indicated that there's no way to comment on these things without running the risk of saying something or creating some perception that will make it more difficult for Al to do what he's doing. So I just can't do it. Could we go back to the One budget? Question. Ed Rollins says that uh, Republicans on Capitol Hill who don't support your program should be disciplined. Do you agree? And if so, what's the difference between the Democrats last year who supported your program? Shouldn't they have been disciplined? Well, no, I don't agree, and I intend to support uh, as many Republican candidates as I can in the coming election year. And uh, I've never used that in spite of all the inferences in the many meetings that I've had with legislators on the issues that have come up and the votes and so forth. Uh, I have never used anything or attempted anything but to try and persuade them to my viewpoint. And uh, there's never been any club held over any of them. Well, you thank, you, thank you, thank you. That's got to be the last question. Sorry. Uh, uh, thank you. Mr. Rollins about that? Uh -huh. <laughs> speak to him about that? Or have you? He said it's the last question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the last now, question. If you hold one of these, will you let us carry it live? Uh, <laughs> I think you didn't say anything you wouldn't mind being heard live, did you? I never say anything that I wouldn't mind being heard live. <laughs> it's, uh, well, we'll tell your age that you said that, sir. <laughs> We had an audio man, we were going to carry this one live. He didn't show up in time. <laughs> <laughs> the union man. <laughs>